Hello, I'm Dave Edmondson Bird. I'm uh, a lecturer over in the business school and I'm going to be your host on ProDev Day. Now, I've got here with me here today uh, the very lovely and friendly Jan Moore from um, our employability careers and actually, I don't know the proper name, so we'll, be able, we'll find again. that out. No, no, we're <laughs> going to carry on as we, as we mean to go on. So, uh, here she is over here. Uh, hello. Say hello, Jan. Um, so, really, where are you from? I'm from the Careers and Employability okay. Service based at All Saints. And that's important for employers and students to know, isn't it? Absolutely. And we're there all through the year too. That's absolutely wonderful. Okay, um, we're going to talk about networking today. And one of the most important things that students are going to do on Pro Dev Day is network with other professionals. Um, so I think you might have a few tips that we can have a look at today. Is that is that alright if we chat yeah, about those sort absolutely. of things? So um, where should people be networking? What sort of places should they be going to to, to network with, with people? I think quite literally anywhere and everywhere. A lot of students get a bit hung up with the term networking because they think it means having to be in a very sort of official corporate environment but you could literally network with somebody stood with you in the supermarket queue I guess but today we are providing an environment that you can go into and readily meet with employers from the Manchester digital scene. That's great now before you wander into a networking event, and I guess these, these take on all sorts of forms, and we've got one that we're genuinely calling a networking event, what do you really need to be doing? Can you just walk in having thought about nothing, or is there some preparation you should do? Oh, I think you do need to do some preparation. First thing is find out a little bit about the firms that are going to be there. Most of them, if not all, will have a profile or a web link on our website so that you've got no excuse really not to find out a little bit about what they do. You also need to think about how you are going to present yourself on the day. You don't need to dress ultra smart, but uh, do make, make sure that you look as if you mean business. And it's also a good idea to think about a short CV or perhaps a business card that you can take along with you in case anybody wants to keep your contact details. Now I've heard you can get really good cheap business cards from a place called moo.com. This isn't a plug for a friend of mine but we'll be putting a link on the ProDev website so that you can order some uh, business cards. I think it's for about £10 for 100 uh, and they're great and everyone in the digital scene seems to have one so uh, it's important to fit in I guess. Um, when you get in there, what have you got to be like as a person? I mean, how, how should you feel? How should you sort of uh, deal with things? Because I guess for the first time you ever do this, it's a bit like intense. It is, but it's very important that you go along there really believing you're going to get a lot out of it. So you do need to be positive and really believe, yes, I have got something to offer. If you've already been, you're, you're already on a course where you're learning all about graphic design or web design or e-commerce, marketing, whatever those skills are, you've already got a lot to offer the employer and that is why they've given their time up to come today. They're not there just to pass away uh, a wintry afternoon. They are there because they want to meet and amuse students. Um, what the good networkers look like? I mean, how can you tell someone is a great networker? What kind of skills are they demonstrating? What qualities would you say they have? Mo uh, probably most important is a real intense interest in, in the subject. So it is approaching a company and being pretty curious about what they do, why they do it, how they do it, what sort of market are they trying to reach. Um, and it is that how they do it and what you think you could bring to that company if you were to work for them that many of the employers will really, really be looking for. The other thing is being yourself um, because very often the firms are quite small and rely very heavily on you being able to mesh into the team quickly and easily. Now, if I walk into that room on the day there's all those people there and I, I meet someone from a company, what should I do? I mean, I'm just going to be like <gasps> absolutely terrified. Um, so um, I'm faced with someone, what do I do? 
there's five steps to that. Can I call it Sheen? Because this will help you remember. Sheen, that's what, S-H-E-E-N. -E okay, we'll, put, we'll bear that in mind. So it's, and it's pretty straightforward, really. S is smile. Whenever you meet someone naturally, you should smile. So that's an easy first one. The next one, perhaps a bit more unusual as a student, but handshake, it's still an accepted way of greeting in the business world. So a good, firm, although not too firm handshake will also go down really well. Next one, needless to say, follows on from that eye contact. As you know, someone keeps evading that look from you. You, you think they're not to be trusted, but if you give them a good look in the eye, they know that you mean business. It, the second D, enthusiasm. It's so good going in thinking nobody's going to offer me a job today. Um, it certainly won't go down well, but if you are bright and bubbly and really keen on the subject matter, it is going to hit home. And the final one is to be natural. Just be yourself, because as I said a minute or two ago, these people want to meet students who are going to fit in, be part of the team. That's fantastic. Now, what do I talk about? What sort of things are, are, are we going to talk about? Because I, I've never been and I, I don't know what to say. So what, what should I be asking about? Try and strike up a, a pretty natural conversation. You can ask them what sort of things the firm actually do, what services they provide, the type of clients they work with. Quite a number of them will have their computers with them, so they will be able to demonstrate how they reach out to their customer base. Then, really, it's down to you. If it's the design work that you're very interested in, get talking about that. Ask them why they've gone for that option, uh, where they see that work going in the future. If it's more on the e-commerce side, you can ask why they've gone for that sort of marketing technique. Again, where they see it going in the future. Perhaps you can ask them about a lot more about their clients too. Okay. Um, everyone tells me I should have an elevator pitch when I go to a, uh, a networking event. Um, what, what on earth is that about? <laughs> yes, a much overused word, although I guess if you've been watching Dragon's Den, it may have given you a little bit more of an idea. But quite simply, it is how you would sum up what you have to offer in the time it would take you to go from the ground floor up to whatever level of a building in a lift when you've had the luck to be caught in there with somebody who you really would love to work for in the future. That's not a very good definition. Oh, I think that's good. But I think it's worth looking at what an elevator pitch is and maybe some people have already done them on their courses. Um, We've, we've had a chat, we've thought about some things, um, you know, I've, I've been honest and enthusiastic and we've, we've, we've talked about things that are interesting in the company. What's the very last thing I should do with the person I'm talking to? Obviously you need to bring it to a positive close. It has been known in the past at Pro Dev Days that employers have asked students for a business card or a CV resume or, or just some data or ask, left their business card with the students asking them to get in contact with them in the next few days because they do want to discuss perhaps a brief project that you could help them with or even a job. They are being honest and it is really important that you follow that up but even if they don't come through with the offer for you um, it's really important that you do leave it on a positive note. Perhaps you could ask them for a business card so that you have got their details in future should you wish to inquire whether they have got opportunities ready for when you graduate. Um, at its most simplest, shake the hand, thank them very much for the time and that you have enjoyed meeting them. Okay, that's great. Now, at the end of the day, I've gone home and I'm looking through all these business cards and I'm wondering what I do next. Is, is there a, a definite sort of thing I should be doing after the event? Yeah, well firstly, if you have got some business cards, for goodness sake, do list each firm and put a note against while you can remember what they were about so that if you come back to them in a, a few weeks or months time, you can remember why that firm interested you. As you get nearer to graduation, um, 
and you're perhaps thinking, yes, this is the sort of area I want to work in, it is then always worth contacting the firm, perhaps by a phone call to begin with, or perhaps a quick email to the person who's given you the business card to see if there might be any suitable openings for you. And what's the big thing about LinkedIn? Why, why would I want to be on that after an event like this? Right. This is like the professional's version of Facebook. Um, very, very useful for you if you do want to make lo meet like-minded people, particularly here in Manchester. There are many, many networking groups. In fact, if you want to find out more, have a word with David on the day. Um, but uh, it is a really good way of getting through to other like-minded people and getting to know them safely, um, perhaps less awkwardly than trying to find them through other means. That's fantastic, Jan. Okay, everyone, so remember that. Plenty of lessons for you to learn about networking. We'll be doing a lot of that on the day. Um, hopefully we'll be having someone to talk to us about LinkedIn and that's somebody who's actually uh, a big LinkedIn user and actually uses LinkedIn to find their suitable staff. So uh, it just shows you how important that is. Um, both Jan and I look forward to seeing you on the day and um, good luck with uh, meeting those people.